it couldn't be more obvious what is going on in the crypto space right now. It's right in front of your eyes. What happened just 48 hours ago with that massive pump and dump in the Bitcoin price gave the game away. And the reaction we saw in the prices of Solana, HBAR, ICP and Casper are also giving away the game for some of the altcoins out there. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly which altcoins I'm now focusing on after that event. Hit the like button and let's get into it. Now, guys, just a couple of days ago, we saw a piece of news come out from Cointelegraph telling everyone that the iShares ETF or exchange traded fund was approved. And for those of you who were watching it, saw the Bitcoin price rally extremely fast all the way up here, just under 30K. And then it retraced back down when basically the rumors got disproven. Now, as much as I don't really like to look at the mainstream news and understand, there is something that I can't really ignore here. BlackRock boss says Bitcoin pump on fake ETF news shows pent up interest in crypto. And he's not wrong, but there's something very significant that's happening behind the scenes that no one's really talking about. And it's this, which is from CryptoCon over on Twitter. And he's talking about the Bitcoin age versus the price chart. Now quickly, when we talk about Bitcoin age, what that effectively means is when you have a Bitcoin and you don't spend it for let's say 100 days, that Bitcoin then has an age of 100 days. Now typically, a lot of coins are being locked away by big whales and they only kind of bring them out to play if you like as we sort of enter into what looks to be a new bull market coming. And here you can see the yellow line, which is the median age kind of spiking towards the upside. And it spikes because a lot of people who've been storing away Bitcoin for the last couple of years, suddenly bringing it out onto exchanges, ready to move it. And this is a precursor for a massive move in the markets. Back in January of 2012, you can see this big spike appears here. And then from there, you can see pretty much rallies into a bull market after already seeing that low. October 2015, you see a big spike in the median age here. And then guess what? Let me rally into the 2017, 2018 bull market. 2018 turns around. Eventually we come back to here, November 2019. We see the spike in the Bitcoin age. So around November of 2019, COVID was starting to spread across China and then into the early stages of 2020, it basically shut down very quickly. The Americas, Europe, and most of Asia very, very fast. Now, this is very important to note because this caused what's called a black swan event, like a, an event that you're not really imagining will happen, like a disastrous event. And if it wasn't for that black swan event, we would have just continued on and eventually would have just hounded into a bull market. And that bull market potentially would have come earlier than it was because it was delayed. Now, what we're seeing literally in the last couple of days is another spike in these kind of wallets coming up. Now, I will point out this one here that it did happen in a downtrend, but that was around pretty much the FTX collapse. Okay, so and you do get other spikes that happen around the sort of top of bull markets and various other bits and pieces. Okay, but these kind of ones around this kind of level through here are indicating the start of bull markets potentially. So why is this so significant? Well, yesterday, that piece of news that came in unverified caused a spike in the Bitcoin price, something like nearly 8%. And now for a Bitcoin price that's worth literally, that's over half a trillion dollars, 8% is just under like $50 billion. It's a lot of money that suddenly just arrived off of one little bit of fake news. Imagine that news then got verified and then you had the next ETF approval because there's a lot of them that are coming through the gate. There's potential here that something really dramatic could happen at any point, okay? I've talked about this multiple times, guys. We've seen drops towards the downside break up, drop towards the downside, break, retest, and then push up. Even without that news yesterday, you're anticipating that this price will be moving up towards the upside anyway. And those who are involved in the altcoin market might be a bit concerned by this, but I want to draw your attention to something very important. As we look into the Bitcoin dominance on the daily, this is like the percentage that Bitcoin holds as a market cap against all of crypto. Currently, it's sat at around 52%, and it hasn't been really this high since back in April of 2021. But you can see it's running into a significant area of resistance here, which is similar that we saw around the 30th of June when Bitcoin was quite high. And then we saw Bitcoin bleeding towards the downside. Now, also, this line I've drawn on is taken from a swing high uh, from the top of this price here 
down to the bottom using the Fibonacci and you can see the 0 0.382 is providing us resistance as well and this previous low uh, that was all the way back in April of 2019 you can see previous support flips into resistance now I get it when Bitcoin's pumping towards the upside early stages in the market you don't necessarily want to be in the altcoins because the theory is particularly the likes of Ben Cowan and everyone else pushing this that Bitcoin's going to rally and it's going to drain all the money out of the other altcoins now there's a potential for this to happen to some altcoins out there but one thing i noticed yesterday is this now at the top you've got the bitcoin a four hour chart when that news dropped about bitcoin that particular one candle went up eight percent during that same period of time solana also went up eight percent and then you can see that over the last few periods of time since that fake rally towards the upside Solana has continued to grow in strength who else had a similar reaction ICP saw this rally towards the upside somewhere in the region of like four percent but then failed to get much in the way of significant strength coming afterwards it started to slide lower and lower Brusty failed to react pretty much at all to that piece of news this was the little spike and then you can see it just continues on the way down Casper however did have a bit of a positive reaction with this little spike up here going up around four and a half percent and then kind of continuing to build a little bit of strength here so what i'm saying is coins that are reacting very closely to what bitcoin is doing are sat in a very good position if those are coins you've been researching and understand well now it's very key to notice that in the early stage of the market bitcoin will rally first okay and that Bitcoin dominance thing could be a little bit concerning if you are looking at some smaller cap alts. Because when the market suddenly seems a bit unstable, you'll see them just start to drain very quickly where Bitcoin stays steady. Like here, this is Hook USD. It had a very positive reaction to that news and then suddenly it piles in towards the downside after the news kind of gets reversed. So what I'm saying right now about this is this Bitcoin dominance thing of being fearful of the market is kind of fair enough because a lot of people are betting, in fact, I would say the majority are betting on a market slide towards the downside and some catastrophic event like Binance collapsing or USDT collapsing or like an all out total war that's been triggered because of what's going on at the moment in Israel and Palestine. And whilst, of course, this is all possible during this kind of period of unrest that we're seeing right now and during a year that the markets have been full of negative and bad press crypto bitcoin has been pumping towards the upside bitcoin on the one week chart as i've talked about this year where we've had horrendous interest rates hikes to highs that they haven't seen for decades multiple wars breaking out around the world various banks collapsing and all sorts of other news and worry and fear in the market and yet bitcoin is up right now 71 percent so how much of this news can we really take on board and how much of this news is really just there to manipulate the market into making certain decisions so what i'm getting at is the market yesterday showed an indicator of just how quickly it will move if one of those pieces of news gets delivered and i know people are thinking well it's fine and i'll just invest in the altcoins after bitcoin's got moving maybe that's fair enough but the likes of solana and whatever else could be doing two or three x's if bitcoin gets to around 40k which could potentially happen very quickly if yesterday's news was genuine i'm also fairly confident that bitcoin is going to be able to break uh, above these highs around 29k and today we're seeing something very interesting even after that negative news uh, got put out there yesterday you haven't really seen the price retrace that much it retraced a little bit there and then you can see it's continued to move towards the upside it's actually now bouncing around inside of an ascending triangle and perhaps by the time this video goes out bearing in mind it's now tuesday evening 523 i think that you're likely going to wake up at some point and Bitcoin is going to be pushing for 30k because a breakout beyond this level from this price chart brings us back to around 29 or just over 29k. And I think things are looking very bullish, very promising. So do you really want to be sat around waiting for a massive black swan event that's only kind of really happened once before in the crypto life cycle that everyone apparently appears to be predicting? If you're subscribed to my channel, which hopefully you are by now, you'll know that I kind of like to tell you that if everyone is predicting something to happen, it, it barely ever happens. Do you remember the XRP stuff? When we were like down here, 
and XRP and everyone in the little XRP army were like, oh, you know, when XRP wins its lawsuit, they're going to be, you know, going to $1,000 a coin. It won its lawsuit, or at least had uh, a pretty massive win within that lawsuit. It went up 97%, and then within the space of about two weeks, uh, the price had then fallen back to where it even started from. Just remember, guys, when everyone is anticipating something happening, usually wrong. And let's take this into consideration. When that FTX news hit Bitcoin, it fell by about 25%. Currently, if Bitcoin falls 25%, it's not even going to get under 20k. So I don't really know what people are waiting for. Right now, I'm putting my eggs in baskets quite aggressively, such as Solana, Ethereum, and large market cap coins. I'm going to then distribute like 10% amongst the likes of Veracity, Render, ICP, HBAR, Quant. If Casper can drag a bit lower, then maybe I'll get more into Casper. But this is the accumulation time. This is when big money accumulates. That is exactly why I'm doing it. And if you want to understand exactly what's going on in the charts from myself, as well as a bunch of other experts, then get yourself into the inner circle link down below in the description. It's got a five day free trial, so you can come and check it out for absolutely free and see what everyone is talking about in here. There's over 500 active members in the Discord, most of which have tons and tons of experience and are willing to answer any of your questions anytime you need help, whether that be on hard wallets or anything like that. You can also see that you can get my insights as well, where you can see I was saying that Bitcoin was likely going to bounce here. It then found support, continued to bounce, and then obviously you know the rest. We've also been raising money for pre-ICO projects, allowing us to invest large sums by pooling together everyone's money into huge new crypto projects. This is an opportunity to get in and become a whale in crypto by buying extremely early in projects before public launches and things like that, where you can get the very best price and potentially see a five or a 10 X upon the ICO or token generation event something that no one else is doing and unique to the house of crypto link down below in the description just nine dollars 99 per month guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did do me a favor hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe see you in the next one bye bye